Hello guys, Saucer Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Inuyasha. Inuyasha is one of the first anime shows that I've ever seen, and an anime that will always be special to me because of the romance in this anime. I was never a big fan of romance in anime shows, I always just wanted to watch Shonen Battle anime shows early on. This anime though got me to see how entertaining romance can be, especially in creating drama. This anime had the most iconic love triangle in Kikyo, Kagome, and Inuyasha. I have never seen a love triangle that had so much drama and enjoyable romantic scenes like this one did. In this anime, a girl named Kagome is suddenly dragged to the bottom of a well by a demon. When she fights off the demon and tries to leave the well, she realizes that she is not in her time anymore. She has traveled 500 years into the past and is now living in the Sengoku period. During her trip to the past, a wish-granting jewel called the Shikon Jewel has come into her possession. Apparently the jewel was always in her body, but now it's been pulled out. This jewel can grant a person any wish they want. This leaves Kagome as a target against many other demons who want the jewel for themselves. A half-demon called Inuyasha, who was pinned by an arrow for 50 years because of a priestess called Kikyo, has now been set free by Kagome. Kagome thought Inuyasha would protect her from a demon, but ends up wanting the Chikon jewel for himself. He tries to steal the Chikon jewel from her, but with the help of a villager named Kaede, Kagome can now command Inuyasha to fall to the ground at any time, thus keeping the Chikon jewel safe from Inuyasha. The Shikon Jewel, however, soon gets scattered into many pieces and it's up to Inuyasha and Kagome to gather all the pieces of the Shikon Jewel. Together they go on a long adventure, encounter many demons, and learn the shocking truth on why Inuyasha was pinned to the tree for 50 years. There was a true mastermind who tried to get Inuyasha and Kikyo killed. I was so emotionally invested in this anime because of the love drama. It was so entertaining to watch, I couldn't stop watching the episodes. Love drama makes these episodes so interesting to watch. Whenever there is love drama in any anime episode, that's all people can talk about. It was so enjoyable seeing this love triangle unfold. Inuyasha still loved Kikyo, but Kagome loves Inuyasha, while Kikyo didn't really care about Inuyasha. In the early part of the anime, she just thinks of him as a nuisance. This anime had so many emotional scenes where Inuyasha confesses love towards Kikyo, and Kagome confesses that she loves Inuyasha. Those scenes were so amazing to watch, that I still watch these scenes years later. There were so many sweet moments that Inuyasha had with both Kikyo and Kagome. For me, I was more of a Kagome fan, but I can understand why some people prefer Kikyo over Kagome. Kikyo had so many sweet moments with Inuyasha in the past. The love drama involving the love triangle was amazing, but there's also the interesting love drama between Moroku and Sango. They had really sweet moments at times, and I really like how Moroku convinced Sango that she was the only woman for him which was hard considering Moroku was a pervert that kept looking at other girls. It was hilarious seeing him try to convince Sango that flirting with other girls meant nothing. The love drama was also really funny as well. There were a couple of demons trying to win Kagome's heart, and it was hilarious seeing Inuyasha telling them to back off. The other enjoyable parts of this anime were the plot and the action. Throughout the entire anime, people kept trying to take pieces of the Shikon jewel. They wanted that power for themselves. But this anime gave major hints that perhaps it isn't a good thing to have something that can grant your wish. Perhaps some things are too good to be true. This anime had a major reveal about the Shikon Jewel that was shocking to learn. I thought the jewel was just going to work like the Dragon Balls, where any wish would be granted without any consequences, but there was more to the Shikon Jewel than that. It was interesting learning about the full history of the Shikon Jewel. Every episode in this anime was basically Inuyasha and Kagome traveling to a new place to find a piece of the Shikon Jewel, and they end up having to help people living in that area. They later had to fight off demons or Naraku. It did get a little repetitive after a while, but it was so interesting seeing them try to help other people out in various difficult situations. In terms of the fights, it was demons with demonic abilities versus Inuyasha and his friends. The demons were well designed, and each had unique character design as well as have unique ability. One demon could give people nightmares and kill them in their sleep. I really liked that Inuyasha had a sword that could change form. It was so cool seeing the new appearance of each form as well as seeing the brand new attacks that came with it. The fights were well done with the characters working together to take down a demon. There was a lot of strategy involved, and the characters did well in coordinating their attacks. The fights were entertaining to watch. While there were some friendship speeches at times, it wasn't as bad as fairy tale. Characters didn't just suddenly get back up after being injured gravely. I really enjoyed the characters in this anime. Inuyasha was a funny character who was such a tsundere at times. It was so funny seeing him not tell others how he really feels, when it's pretty clear he enjoys being around his friends. He kept trying to put on the act that he was a cool person, when in reality he was a kind person. Moroku was a fine pervert, 
that kept making dirty jokes at times. Songo was a funny character to watch because she got so jealous over a girl who was talking to Moroku. Kagome was a tsundere as well that made the relationship between her and Inuyasha perfect because they are two tsundere's that can't admit their love for each other. Naraku made for a great villain. He constantly manipulated people and tried to break their bonds between them because he was jealous of their amazing bond. He was truly a sinister and twisted person that enjoyed seeing people suffer. He wanted power because he wanted to be seen as superior to everyone else. It was interesting to find out that he actually really only wanted to have a strong bond with Kikyo, but his wish never came true. Which is what motivates him to do awful things. The openings for his anime were okay, nothing stood out to me. The endings were decent to watch. The music during the episodes though was simply amazing and made those romantic scenes so enjoyable to watch. You can't have sweet romantic moments without a great romantic song after all. The animation style for his anime looked good. I really liked the first animation style, but it changed after several seasons and then it obviously changed again for the final season that came years later after the original series. I wish the animation style didn't change in the original series, but it wasn't anything too distracting. The animation during the fight scenes was great, the characters moved in such a fluid way during fights, and the special attacks were animated well. If you want to see an amazing romantic anime with action, then I definitely recommend watching this anime. It had so many sweet romantic moments between characters, and the love drama was so entertaining to watch. The powers in the fights were pleasing to see, there weren't any fights that made me go, wow, that ended in a really stupid, illogical way. It was rare to see a shonen anime show have so much romance in action. Usually shonen shows disregard romance and have the characters just end up together at the end of the anime. But this anime wasn't afraid to show love confessions, kisses, and characters promising to be together in the future. It had a perfect balance of romantic scenes and action scenes. The romance didn't ruin the action, and the action didn't ruin the romance. I give this anime a 9 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.